Human rights organizations are reporting on a devastating story coming out of Saudi Arabia. They say they've, quote, executed at least 175 people in the past year at a rate of one every two days, according to Amnesty International. The kingdom killed, they continue, 102 convicted criminals in the first six months of 2015 alone, putting it on course to beat its 1995 record uh, for the calendar year of 192. Those killed included children under the age of 18, stay classy, uh, at the time of the offense, and disabled people. 2,208 people have been executed in Saudi Arabia since January 1985. They say nearly half of those, 48.5%, were of foreign nationals. Uh, more than one in four, 28%, since 1991, have been for drug-related offenses. Now, they go on to also explain that many executions were for the horrendous crimes of adultery, apostasy, atheism, witchcraft, and sorcery. This is so sad. The Independent reports, quote, The kingdom has rarely commented in public on the harshest punishments in its system of religion-backed Sharia law. In a rare interview in 2003, a man described as the country's leading executioner told Arab News he was very proud to do God's work. Come on, man. This is, this is our top ally. One of our top allies. The thing that I can't get over is the fucking hypocrisy. It's that we say we're fighting in Afghanistan because we need to we needed to defeat Al Qaeda. Mission accomplished on that, uh, and we need to you know de destabilize the Taliban and make it so that they didn't house Al Qaeda anymore. Mission fucking accomplished on that too. And the idea was, oh my God, we can't have Al Qaeda and the Taliban take over and implement Sharia all around Afghanistan because that would be unacceptable. That's the argument they gave us. Well, if that's why you're so concerned, oh, we gotta fight Sharia over there, then why the fuck are you best friends with a country that implements not only Sharia, they're implementing the single most ultra-conservative fundamentalist interpretation of Islam in general. They're implementing a Wahhabist ideology, a Salafist ideology. I mean, that's the extreme of the extreme of the extreme. That's what fucking ISIS is fighting for. That's their belief. So you have a regime that's partly based off the ideology of ISIS, and you're like, no, they're, they're cool. We're not, a, we're not gonna criticize them. Why? Ugh. It totally doesn't have anything to do with the oil, we promise you that. Behead people because they took drugs or they smuggled drugs. What are you, fucking crazy? We're not gonna accept that. We're just gonna sit back and let you do that? Fuck you, hell no. Or if you want to do that, fine. Well, then you're isolated from the rest of the world and we're gonna do boycotts, divestments, and sanctions against you. Or at the very least, when you clean your act up, or on other issues in other areas, we can be more neutral towards you. You see what I mean? So it depends on the actions, it depends on what you're doing, and U.S. policy should react in kind. So, again, I don't want a war with you. I don't want a war with anybody. Uh, I, the only time I want to use U.S. military forces is when, you know, forces initiated against us first. So we're doing it in self-defense. So that's not my goal. My goal is not regime change or any crazy shit like this. But do I want to change the way that you act internally via other kinds of pressures to try to get you to be a more humanitarian regime? Yes. And also, let's understand completely, I'm not glossing over our own crimes here. I also think pressure should be put on the U.S. government to do the same thing. You can't fucking hold people in an extrajudicial way in Guantanamo Bay. You can't fucking torture people. You can't invade countries that didn't fucking attack you. You have to abide by a better morality than that. You have to abide by international law. So it's the same for all these different countries, but I'm tired of our hypocrisy. Oh, this country's okay because they're our buddy. They can do whatever the fuck they want. This one is evil because they're not our buddy, even though their human rights record may be better than us. And that's the case for a variety of different countries. And to the clowns in uh, Saudi Arabia who are acting this way and doing this, your ideology is not true. It's made up. It's fake. It's false. It's not real. We believe because this book says some shit about hating gay people and killing uh, apostates, we're going to do it. That's a good enough reason for you? 
Yeah, it's in the same book that has fucking flying horses and other stupid shit that's not real. Oh, well, uh, we believe it quite literally. Then I question your intelligence. And I question your morality. Because as you're chopping off the head of somebody for sorcery, which isn't even real, you say, I am the more moral one. No, you're not the more moral one. You're the less moral one. And your actions prove that.